The phone says it's, oh, my lens is dirty. Ugh, the phone says it's four degrees. Oh, this is not a good lens. Ugh, come on, man. Let me, let me do that for you. Ugh. This is a great start to the day. Um, okay. Ugh. Here we go. Look how nice it is outside. Um, so, and it's going to go up to six degrees. So not as warm as yesterday. How's my plant doing? It's not good. I think I should um, somewhere that it can start getting some sun. Um, yeah, I just uh, recorded a dream summary and then my 930 alarm went off and, oh, that's supposed to be, look at the stock market, so I better do that. Oh, look, a little bird outside. Bye, bird. It just flew away. Um, the alarm went off saying, look, the stock market, so it cut off my dream. I should finish up some taxes and, uh, expenses for my election campaign. Um, what else I gotta do? I gotta do Giannis's website. Maybe I'll do some voice auditions. Uh, upload a promo for my mom's art show. <sighs> Lots to do. I guess I just have to sort of sit down and say, okay, this is what I'm doing for half an hour and just focus on it and just do it. And, uh, yeah, Charles was yelling at me yesterday. Like I was working on some business ideas and he's like, what? You haven't researched it enough. And I'm like, what? So I guess it's tough love. I'll try to think of it like that. And then, um, what was he saying too when he drove me home? I don't know. I mean, it still gives me a goal to sort of work towards the end of the day to go visit him. I really wish I had, you know, other people to visit as well. So I wasn't always bothering him. Uh, but I'm messaging you guys. And then, yeah, it's, so this is a day after now. Yesterday was kind of the beginning of the pandemic. And now after this, it's like another year. So I'm not sure what that means. Like, I'll have to think about how that affects, like, thinking about the world now. Like, it's like, before, up to now, it was always like, oh yeah, we're almost a year into it. Like, a year before, it was the pandemic. So now if I think about a year before today, the pandemic was already on. I don't know how it works. But like I was saying, this is all going to end pretty soon. The vaccines are coming hard and fast. And, uh, you know, other people, like my friend Ami just messaged, like, no, no, you were not good to go. And, and, uh, and Charles was saying, no, 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 it's, you know, you don't listen to your conservative podcast, you listen to the science and all this, but, I mean, realistically, I was in a restaurant yesterday, it's like, you know, if I, if I wanted to move, or if I could move, I, I could go somewhere now, maybe not travel quite yet, they, they're not making yet international travel, but you got to start thinking about where you want to go, if there's somewhere you want to go, but I guess most of you have your jobs and your families, and you're just doing your life, but I don't know what I'm doing, so, just got to take it minute by minute, I guess, minute by minute. I'm just sitting here on my phone messaging with people, which is nice. And I realized there's this squirrel there that's been sitting there for quite some time. Just going to town on that food. That looks delicious. What is that? Gosh, that's so cute. It's almost like he's sitting here to entertain me. Thank you, squirrel. Makes me happy. Just having my nighttime snack. It's the mini wheats I bought at um, at the dollar store. That just reminds me. I used to write the ads for mini wheats. Um, I'll go downstairs in a minute and I'll tuck you guys in and I'll just tell you about my my regret of the night. All right. <clears throat> oh, where's my phone charger? I've got to set that up so I can charge my phone whilst I sleep because the battery's pretty weak on my phone. It like dies almost instantly. So where, where's my charger? Anyways, I should not have eaten that late, uh, but I do it every night. I do it every night. And when I look in the mirror, I look very fat and out of shape because I don't go to the gym anymore. It's funny because my dream, I always imagined that one day I'll be super, super rich and I'll have like a treadmill in my living room and I'll be running on it. I'll be like the picture of health. I'll have a butler handing me healthy smoothies I'll be doing everything um, that is proper for health, and uh, I've done the opposite this year. I'm just eating mini wheats in the kitchen. Wait, is the charger there? Oh, it's right there. All right, so I'm all ready for bed. Jeez, look at this. I was just watching the uh, beginning clip of um, Jimmy Kimmel from, from yesterday for the one-year anniversary of the corona anniversary when it was declared a pandemic, so... You know what? I haven't been keeping a diary since I was like 13 or a little bit when I was in university. But thank God I've been doing these stories 
uh, for a few years, because then I can go back and look at what I was saying in the hotel room a year ago. So that's kind of fun. And maybe one day my, my great-grandchildren will, will check it out. But I'm not planning on dying ever. I'm going to live forever. Uh, much like Larry King was hoping to do. Anyways, uh, so... What was my... Okay, so earlier today... Um, oh, yeah. So, okay, so first I got this message from this woman who just said... Uh, I forget what she said. I think I'll, I'll, I'll go check out the, the whole discussion and show it to you later. But basically... I think she said something nice about not living with regrets or whatever. And I scrolled up and I'm like, because uh, I was like, who is this woman? And, and there was a little clip because she responded to my story. Or no, I tagged her in a story in 2018 that I'd met her in the elevator of my condo. And then I made a story saying, hey, check out this woman. Uh, she's got her own cleaning business or something. You should, you know, follow her or whatever. And then she sent me a message back saying, you know what? It was so great meeting you. You've got such this great energy. I'd love to know more about you. I think we should get together. And that was it. I never replied. And I'm like, what? I don't know why. I asked her, did we ever get together? She's like, no. And, and she was too shy to message back, like, with her ego, because I never replied. I'm like, I don't know if I didn't notice the message or what. Like, I totally, 100% would have said, yes, let's get together. I mean, anybody who appreciates me and likes me and whatever, and I'm like, oh, my God, who knows? Maybe we would have, maybe we would have gotten married or something. I certainly could have used a friend at that point. And now she says... You know, because I, I was complaining, I'm like, oh, I'm never, nobody's ever going to want me when I, I'm almost 50. And she's like, oh, I have a, my boyfriend now is 50 and, and I've never been so in love. I'm like, oh, great. So it could have been me. And then I got a message back from that woman I showed you the quote of the, yesterday or whatever, who said, uh, my stories inspire her. Because I asked, how did you find me? And she's like, oh, from the, your comment under uh, Barbara, the, uh, the, uh, the Shark Tank woman, and she said, you know, I like your stories, they inspire me because all these gurus, they just, they're perfect and they, whatever, but, you know, you're, I, I'm just being honest, I'm saying I don't have the answers and I'm just sharing my struggles and it makes her feel, uh, you know, seen, I guess, or, or not alone. She said, you know, because she too, because when I said that I feel like with the pandemic, I'm kind of scared that now I'm going to be missing out on things again, she says she kind of feels the same way, she's like, you know, the pandemic's ended. She said there's pressure to be having an interesting life. So it's, and she's like a, a PhD, like in chemistry or something. It looks like she's having a, a pretty awesome life. So I guess it's good that we're having the same feelings. It makes us feel less alone. Um, and then I got a message from uh, this girl uh, f I know from New York that I visited years and years ago. And, and uh, she's asking if I'm on meds. And, and she's been dealing with anxiety. And so she was giving me pep talks and stuff too. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. And then I told her some things I've been going through. She's like, oh my God, totally. Now she understands why I seem to have PTSD. So I'll, I'll, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. But um, what else? So my regret of the night, I was just thinking about small towns. Because, okay, I was going to go to bed early, but I'm like, oh, the dating app says there's like speed dating on at like 10 o'clock. I'm like, I guess I got to stay up for it. And this was for Christian singles, 45 plus. And I guess I'm 45 plus, even though I don't think of myself as that. Um, but I'm certainly not Christian, uh, so I don't know what I was doing, why I was staying up for that. Uh, I was hoping to go to bed right, right at 8 or 9, and then I could get up super early, because the cleaning lady's coming tomorrow too. And I still have to upload all these videos so I can promote my mom's art show, because I filmed the art show last week, and it's taken me a week. I haven't put it up, because all day I've been just doing the voice acting and this website copywriting, and it's not advancing my life. Anyway, so one of the women I talked to lives in Greenbrier, which she said isn't that small town, but I was like, it sounds like a cozy small town. I've always been jealous of people's small towns. And that made me remember my girlfriend that, from Chatham, Ontario. And I'm like, if I'd married her, I would have lived in, you know, I could have been in from a small town. And like, it was just such magic. Like I was, I was admiring, I, you know, I was just uploading the video. You can check it out. I'm in Instagram jail for the week because uh, I was unfollowing too many people. So, um, I, you can't, you can't, I can't post on Instagram right now, but I, it's on my YouTube. You can see my love box from Charlotte. And it made me think, oh, that's so sweet. But I remember I've gotten packages like that. Uh, like Jen made me a, a thing where it was like a little, what was it? It was a book. It was a book of all the memories we shared together and stuff. And I'm like, imagine if I, because we had that past and we would have had another 20 year, you know, our lives together to build more memories. Imagine that and walking around a small town and be like, oh, there's Josh and Jen and there's their little kids. And, you know, the, our kids are going to the school where she teaches at and where her dad was the principal. Like, that's what I could have had. I threw it away. 
So that's that's my regret of the night. Both, you know, the usual wishing I'd built a life with someone and also the small town thing. Like, how cozy would that have been? Sorry, I'm just getting messages on Facebook from another girl named Jen, actually. A more recent Jen. And uh, she's like, why didn't you respond to my message from last night? Oh, God. Um, but I have to remember. So my friend Adrian from university, he just turned 49 today. And I, and uh, he's divorced. I talked to him earlier in the fall, and he was the the guy that you know got married really young and, and just always wanted to get married, which I can never understand. I was like, why would you want to do that? But now I get it. Uh, but he's divorced now, so it's like you know what? I guess nothing's permanent. And I think one of these girls was telling me today. Maybe it was the the new one. She was saying you're not defined by your relationship. Like we're all alone. Like you even if you're with someone, you gotta you gotta love yourself. Something like that. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start a Facebook community, like a group, soon, hopefully tomorrow. Um, whether it's kind of just a general Josh Rackless, you know, let's all be together thing, or it might have more of a focus, like sort of me teaching you how to access celebrities, like to, you know, get on red carpets like I did, or to sort of live your own celebrity life, like to be a celebrity, like with whatever you're doing, whether that's... Um, you know, like the way I get in the, in the media when I'm running for office or, or, you know, for picking up garbage or whatever. Like, you know, let's celebritize your life. Let's, let's, you know, there's no reason that celebrities should get to live this glamorous life that, you know. Anyways, just kind of, it's kind of the focus. But it'll, it'll be me teaching you everything I know and we can all keep each other company and support each other. What was my point. I guess watch for that soon. Oh, and also I want your help. And I'll put a poll in there. I want your help. Um, your help choosing a name for myself, like, you know, whether it's live true. Okay, so this girl, what am I going to ask you? I, I could ask you again, what'd you do today? But that seems kind of boring. I mean, you can message me what I did today, what you did today, if you want. But let me try to think of a better question. This girl, Robin, the comedian, always asks crazy questions, like, I don't know what. But I don't know if I want to ask crazy stuff. But I'm curious, like, okay, let's say Corona's ending. Let's say uh, the vaccines are you coming and we're all going to be back to normal pretty much very soon. Uh, what's something you're looking forward to doing? Yeah. 